Um, all right. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. What? What? I was starting over. I was going back from the beginning. You know what that sounded like? Diarrhea. No. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction TV, it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more Tuesday content. Ah, the violence! It's so juicy. I think we're supposed to be Patreon sponsors. Uh, yeah, we're they like this all the time. We don't, you people get on here and go, you guys are faking it. No, we're not. You don't know us. Shut up. Yeah, go away. I'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, this is a little video. It's called India Scott Color. Hold up. Hold up one second. You know what you just did? Well, I thought it was India, and then I was like, oh, it has an S, India. <laughs> that technically falls into a Corbinization for something that's straight up English, because you went, India, Scott, color. It's because I forgot it, it was, you added I, thought it was I thought it was India got color. Right. But it's India you added Z, the, yeah. got color. India, Scott, color. Uh, that's, that's it. I think it's like a song thing about the diversity in India. Heck yeah, uh, it better be that. And uh, Whose song? I, I don't think it's, I think it's just the internet. I could be totally wrong. So the internet wrote it somehow? Yes. Song? Rick, Amazing. the internet wrote it. What a world we live in. Well, the internet created Al Gore. Here we go. India mein jitne log, utne rang. Agar phir bhi hum nahi sudrenge. Love the message of it. Yeah. Because uh, I know India has a, uh, I don't know if it's a huge problem, but they have a, it's prob a, huge problem. a problem, especially with, or at least they used to, I don't know if they're changing. I can't tell you because I'm not there. Um, if the, with the, the people that are trying to get you to be as fair as possible. It's huge. Because uh, that's what's considered the best, I guess. It's huge. Is the thing, right? Yep. Um, which is unfortunate, and please don't ever think that about yourself, um, because that's 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 terrible, and <laughs> you should never change yourself to uh, fit what you think you should be. Uh, that's completely and utter garbage. It is, especially when it comes to skin color. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> obviously that's we here we here in America have had quite a history with uh, skin color issues. Yeah, we, um, we we have, but there's stuff. I mean. There's a lot of stuff I could say, but it'll be based on my experiences. You may, you know, you may not want to 
put it in there because it'll be about Indrani stuff that she's told me and stuff I saw when I was in Calcutta. No, it's fine. Dude. Experiences. Um, uh, the the it is legit situations where with arranged marriages. They um, seek some, out yeah, like it's like like for example, this didn't even occur to me one day, and Indrani said, "You realize we're an interracial couple." I'm like, "Huh? Oh yeah, I guess we are." Yeah, I just I don't think that way. Yeah, and she said, "Yeah, the fact there there are people that if you are, uh, if a, for example, a brown girl is marrying a white guy, yeah, that's awesome because that means your kids your kids are probably going to be fairer. And if a white girl is marrying a brown guy, that's awful. You can't do that because that means the gene pool for our generations to come are going to get darker. No joke, man. No joke." The family will not like the darker skinned person because that darker skinned person has the genetic potential to make the family line get dark. That's a legit issue. I know it's not most of the young people that think that. I know it's most of the older generation. And it depends on where you are in India. Of course. Yeah. That's just awful. Stupid. It's just awful. <laughs> and there's lots of that, the, 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 I, the I was... skin color issue and, and arranged marriages versus what they call love marriages yeah, yeah. And, and how they're both, they are critical. Like I remember, remember being in a bookstore with Indrani looking at some things to get and there it was right on the shelf was the fairness creams big time, just a big of fairness creams and basically showing you the before and after that. If you use this, your skin will be whiter. <laughs> I know there are not that blatant here in America, obviously, because you know that's racist. Uh, <laughs> but the beauty industry does have huge issues with huge. only having the majority of their skincare for women uh, lines are majority mostly fair skinned. Yeah, stuff. Well, and let's talk about everything else. Your teeth have to be a certain color. Uh -huh. Your body has to be a certain shape. Yeah, uh, you have to be a certain age. And so, if not, I wish around the world in 2019, like, that would be, that wouldn't even be a thought in anybody's mind what color you are, because that's dumb. Like, you'd think we'd be past that in an age where, you know, you know, we have ultimate information everywhere. What you just said is the key. The, the reality behind it is that the core thing is just flat out lack of education and ignorance. And just sticking to this is the way we've always thought, and so we're not changing it because this is the way we think. Versus recognizing the absurdity of it because look around, last time I checked, I think most living things on this planet look a lot different and have different shades of furs and skins and it's kind of this like beautiful cornucopia of creation. Yeah. And I find skin tones just like hair color and eye color to be nothing but gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, I, the variety is so beautiful. I've never understood it. I know why it exists. I don't know why it hasn't changed. I just and with those people haven't died off yet. Yeah, no kidding. And, we've, <laughs> and they're teaching it. To their, they're teaching it to their kids badly. Uh, and yeah, for those of you, a while back we reacted to something, and then it made it made me want to put a video together on my YouTube channel about Billy Joel's uh, song about don't go changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was about skin color and it was nothing but uh, women and yes, some transgender women yeah. with dark skin. Yeah. And for those of you who do have dark skin and you have been treated awfully because of it and you're currently being treated awfully for it, that's wrong. It's not anything to do with you. You're beautiful yeah. and do the best you can to block out the haters that treat you that way. I know it's hard, especially if you're in a relationship where you've got skin color differences and you're being treated like crap. Yeah. Hang in there. And if you think differently about people with different skin colors, let me know because I'll be happy to block you. Yeah, please. If you really are, if you're watching this, please open your mind for a minute, if at all, please. Or die. Yeah, or that. I'm not as nice as him. <laughs> I 